sustained an acute extradural hemorrhage. Oh, speak English, please. A bleed to the brain, which we've managed to stop, but we won't know the extent of the damage until the swelling goes down. When will that be? We need to keep her sedated for the time being. But she'll be okay. She's still critical, Mrs. Barlow. We're doing our best, but there are no guarantees, I'm afraid. Not with an injury of this type. I'll be back to check on her in a bit. Oh, Ken, I can't bear this. I barely got through Peter, and now this. What if she doesn't make it? Trace is a strong girl. She takes after her mum. Somebody did this to her. We don't know that. Could have been an accident. Oh, come on, you don't really believe that, do you? Somebody tried to kill her. And they may well have succeeded. Morning. Don't suppose there's any news. Well, we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed. I really hope she doesn't die. Vicky! Well, why should I pretend? I ain't no hypocrite. I'm going to the hospital. Don't you flipping dare. That's it. What, do you care whether she lives or dies? Oh, come on, Becky. Come on, somebody, you're not telling me. Like what? Well, like, why are you going? Why you care so much? There is somebody everyone seems to have forgotten in all this. My daughter. Your stepdaughter. I'm going to go and see if she can stop with us for a while. Just until we find out what's going on with Tracy. I'm sorry, love. Hey. I'm coming, darling. Stevie, did you do it? Did you? Becky? Go on. I'll see you later. Stop it. <laughs> what? Looking at me. I like looking at you. <laughs> you look very pretty when you're asleep. Why are you saying I'm ugly when I'm awake? Mmm. Gosh, you're a minger. <laughs> Shut up. Mmm, your mum. Sean, are you okay with all this? Because. You know, if you're not ready, then... No, I am. It just feels weird, that's all. Unless I think... I don't want it to feel weird. Oh, like... Weird in a good way. Like a new pair of shoes. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> They're gonna be amazing, but you just need to wear them in a bit. Well, I just don't want to push her. That's all. Yeah, no, you're not. I love you. I love you now. <laughs> but I really don't want your mum to catch us. <laughs> so I'm going to go in the room, OK? Bye. Morning, sir. We're about an incident on New Year's Eve. What incident? Young woman found unconscious. Tracy Barlow. All right. Just wondered if you'd seen anything. No, no, I weren't in. I was, I was visiting a friend, Sally Webster. Oh, can you give us a number with these eggs? Coppers on the street. What have you done? No, no, I swear. He's not been out. You sure? I've not been out for worry. He won't open his door. I've left two lots of signies outside, but he's not had them. He's been in the bathroom, that's about it. M maybe you could go up. I say what? I don't know. Try and get through to him. And get another slap.
Look, I'm sorry. I really am. Oh, it's okay. Look, we were just worried about you. It's, um, it's hard, you know. Being back here after. Anyway, whatever. Just, just don't take it out on us, sorry. I know. Eggs, woman. Well, maybe you need to see someone. Get some help. I just need to get back out there, ma'am. Rejoin my unit and get back on the horse, you know. That'll sort my head out. There's someone else you could say sorry to and all. She was really upset you didn't show. You can't do that to someone in a wheelchair. What is he? I'm more scared of her than I am the flaming Taliban. We well, best get back on that horse again then. <laughs> yeah, in the meantime, how about scrambled egg? I am flaming stuff. <laughs> Forensics indicate it was definitely assault. I told you. We've already got officers out looking for witnesses. Do you know of anyone who might have had a reason for hurting Tracy? He was standing right over her. Deirdre. Oh, come on, Ken, you don't have to be flipping Sherlock Holmes. Well, Steve has had uh, custody issues with their daughter. Steve? MacDonald? The guy who found her? Yes, Amy's father. I saw them arguing not half an hour before it happened. Did you hear what was said? He was shouting at her. He was really angry. Murderous, even. Well, look, since Tracy's returned, Amy's come back to live with us. And yes, it's fair to say Steve wasn't happy about it. He and Becky... She's been, another one. His wife have been bringing her up while Tracy's been, well, out of the picture, shall we say. You think they'd have preferred it if she'd stayed out of the picture? Absolutely. But Tracy's made a lot of enemies. I'm afraid your suspect list is going to be a long one. Sophie, Sean, come on, it's late. Oh, I am up, Mum. I'm just tired. Yeah, well, go and give your mate a nap. She's already up, I think. <sighs> Not on it. Only just. Mum, it is the school holidays. Well, I'll make no bones about this, but I'm not happy with what you're doing. Mum. Drinking and laying in. I expect this of Rosie, but not of you. Yeah, you're right, we're sorry. Actually, Sally, I think you're being a bit unfair. Well, it's not been easy for Sophie with everything that's going on. I just think she does a little bit of a break, that's all. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, Sophie. I can hardly blame you for wanting to have a bit of fun. Not much of that going on round here lately. Yeah, well... I think we're going to go shopping in a bit, go to the sales. Oh, well, maybe I'll come with you. No, you don't have to. Yeah, we'll have a girly day and you could help me choose a new dress. Oh, no, Mum. Rosie's way more better at that than me. You know me, you'll come back looking like a bag lady. <laughs> Probably without the bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose Rosie is more stylish. Yeah, Mum, way more stylish. Well, I do miss her, despite not having to scrub a lip gloss off all my mugs. <laughs> I'll tell you what, why don't you give her a call and take her out for lunch? Do you know, I think I will. Thanks, girls. I thought you were giving up for yeah. here. Well, in times of stress, I need me crutch, and this is definitely one of them. Oh, well, you say that every year. I've had a lot of bad years. How's Tracy? You've got a nerve. Still in intensive care. But well, she'll be all right. Well, somebody smacked her around the head and started a bleed in her brain. So, no, she might not be all right. I'm sorry. Is that a confession? No, he said statement. Yes. What are you doing here, anyway? You come to smother her with a pillow, finish what you started? Deirdre. Look, I told you, I found her like that. How very convenient. Oh, look, I've come about Amy. You know, she's fine. She's with Emily. Yeah, well, she could be with me and Becky. Just until Tracy gets better, rather than palming her off and Oh, I'm... now it comes clear. What? It's not even bothering to hide it. How pathetic. Was it your idea, or did she put you up to it? Oh, Lord, I don't care what kind of conspiracy theories you made up in your head. I'm just worried about my daughter. So am I. No, we understand that. But under the circumstances... You can flaming whistle. Oh, on second thoughts, let's ask the police what oh, they think. I am her dad. You can't keep her from me. There's your culprit there. There's no proof. A. He was found at the scene with blood on his hands. B. Heard shouting at Tracy minutes before she was attacked. And C. He turns up here, 
demanding his daughter and runs off at the first sight of you. How much more proof do you need? Well, I reckon Tracy deserved it. Rosie! Oh, Mum, did you see what she was wearing New Year's Eve? For crimes against fashion, she deserves a slap. No carbs after midday. Babe, I'm starving. Right, just one. Hi, right, please, Tina. I know white wine as well. Terrible about Tracy, eh? Kind of. I came around to mine this morning to see if I saw her out. Did you? No, I was out. Huh, with who? Got an alibi? Yes, actually. What are their resolutions? Beg her room. You must have some. Stop thinking Fort Kerr in the dawn. Like you. Yeah. What? You are joking. <sighs> yeah, lovely way. Don't tell me it's an emergency and only you can sort it. <sighs> Two lights down on the side. I am sorry, Flower. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You know, I've got mates in the army, can't do that. <laughs> All that. You're late. I know. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. No, I am. But I wanted to come. Yeah, I tried, but... I just can't face crowds right now. Look, you're pushing everyone away, then. I've just got too much time in my own head. Nothing to fill it. And there's me thinking I might take up a tiny corner. OK, here's how it is, right? I really like you. Yeah? But I am a complete mess. And I just can't deal with the relationship right now. I'm just trying to get through each day. You think it's any different for me? You try being stuck in this pain of a body. All right. Sexy pain of a body, but still. You ain't the only one fighting battles, soldier boy. Now get out of my way, or I'll do you some real damage. You know what you are, don't you? What? My ideal woman. Did they say anything? Mention any names? Nope. Well, what did they do? They ate chips. How's Tracy? So critical. We're heading back later. And don't pretend you care. I wasn't. The police have confirmed it's definitely assault. Do they think they know who did it? They'll be questioning all of you. Maybe it's like death on the Nile. Everybody did it. You mean murder on the Orient Express? David, I have to ask. No. Did you? No. But we were both alone when she was attacked, and we both have a motive. Oh, so what? We tell the truth? Or we give each other an alibi. Say we were together. Wow, spoken like a true con. I don't ever want to be one again, do you? Daisy, come on! You should have been back in this cell half an hour ago. The stock doesn't take itself, you know. Yeah, sorry, Gran, I'm coming now. I am so ready for my lunch break. You can't see joining me, sweetheart. Sorry, ma'am. Got some shopping to do. Oh, right. Changed. Hey, you oh. Hi. Mm -hmm. Well, this is an unexpected pleasure. Uh, what brings you back so soon? A bit of business. Oh, yes, like what? Oh, when are you going to come and claim your prize? Really is about time you had a quality hairdo. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> The thing is, uh, Claudette, I'm really so busy in the salon. And I mean, in your salon is a bit of a trick. Not for much longer. Oh, what do you mean? Claudia? How did it go? That oh, was great, yeah. Deirdre thinks I'm the Weatherfield Ripper and there's no way we're going to get Amy back. So sorry. Mm -hmm. Nicotine. Ew. One puff and you'll soon be in my grasp. 
You know, if I had not had a fag on that adoption day, we might have got through the panel and we might have got a kiddie. And then I never would have known Kylie had dissed me, I'd have never found her, never seen Max. And I would never have got us into this mess. All for one poxy fag. Nicotine says, take me and all will be well. No, no, he's a baddie like me. How bad? Tell the truth. Didn't do it. I believe you. I believe you. What about coppers? We'll be right. Good guys never get done in the end. Them's the rules. to the Oscars, then uh, maybe. <laughs> all right, then we'll invite you to the Webster's. Cheers. Anyway, <laughs> uh, care for a glass of is my dad? Mm. What is it with you nowadays? Oh, it was you who said I deserved a break. There you do. Why don't you just invite me somewhere? No, I can see you going quite dark, almost black. A bit Angelina Jolie. Yeah, more Tishia Adams, you mean. <laughs> hey, come on now, tell. A lady never tell. Oh, please, show me a leader. Oh, um, I've spoken to the agent. He'll meet you at the butchers at five. Thank you, darling. Butchers? Chop, chop. What do you think? Claudia, no, you cannot open another salon around here. Why not all? Because there isn't enough business for two. You may be right. I am right. Have you thought any more of retiring? No, I have not. But, darling, you are 70. Actually, you know, I wouldn't bother changing the name. Sweetheart Butchers is about right. Come on again, Tina. Don't tell me you come to finally arrest David Platt. You've not come to arrest anyone yet. We're investigating the assault on Tracy Barlow. Uh, how is she? She's critically ill, I'm afraid. She suffered an extremely serious head injury. She'll be all right, though, won't she? Well. We can't rule out murder inquiry, if that's what you mean. Steve McDonald around? Yeah, he's like back. I'll take you through. Oh, we'll need a list of all staff and customers in on New Year's Eve. OK. Steve, so today. Just can it, will you, Rosie? Uh, wind your neck in. The show's over. Right. Thanks for lunch, Mrs W. Pleasure. Be nice to see more of you. I know. Tell me about it. Jason Thompson button up. You're such a Neanderthal. Uh I had a really nice time the other night. Yeah, me too. I was going to ask you, do you fancy coming over for your tea with me and the girls? If you're free, that is. Yeah, that'd be ace, cheers. Well, <laughs> yeah, you look beautiful. <laughs> do I need this? Some new shoes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was rushing you into it. You know, on it. You know, it's just... But what if your mum comes back? Shine, you know what my mum's like when she's with Rosie. They'll be talking for ages. You know we've got loads of time. <laughs> she was threatening to move away with Amy, so I went round to try and talk some sense into her. I... Went round the back, and that's when I saw her lying on the floor. I knelt down to see if she was OK, and that is how I got blood on my hands, I swear. Would you say Amy was happy living here with you and your wife? Yes, very happy. And you enjoyed having her here? Yeah, of course. Had you agreed that should Tracy be released from prison, she'd resume custody? No. Well, why not? I mean, she's the girl's mother. Well, she's hardly a great influence. So Amy's better off with you? Yeah, damn right she is. So why did you let her just walk in and take her back? I, uh. I, uh, couldn't say no. Why couldn't you say no? No, we can finish it off tomorrow. You get a phone now, mate. Oh, you shouldn't be out here. It's dangerous. I've come to do you a favour. Oh, yeah, what? I've got a friend in need of a job. What friend? Someone who make a good labourer. Strong, fit, reliable. Who? Gary. You must be joking. He's a nice lad. He's a fruit loop. He's not! He's had a tough time. He just needs something to keep him busy till he goes back to his regiment. Thought you supported our brave boys. I do. 
Well then. No, I'm sorry about the car. I would, but I've got a job going anyway. I thought you were two men down. There must be a reason. Look, she made me feel guilty. Guilty? For what? Well, she hasn't seen her for ages, and like you said, she is a mother. How did your wife feel about it? Becky, Becky... Becky loves Amy. She... Wanted her to stay. Of course, yeah. Let me be clear. Neither you nor your wife wanted Tracy to have Amy. No. Not in the long term. So you are happy to let her in the short term? Exactly. Even though you think she's an unfit mother? Uh, something you're not telling us, Mr. McDonald. Like what? Like why you gave your daughter back. Tracy, have something over you. <sighs> look, no. Look, look, I didn't do this. You think I did, don't you? Make yourself comfy, Tara, and we'll get the tea on. Who does the girls are back? Give us a hand. Ah, corkscrew in that drawer. Sophie, Sean! Back in a sec. Back to Corey.